Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating a simple to-do list with JavaScript. In this video, we will be using HTML, CSS and JavaScript to build a functional to-do list that you can use to keep track of your tasks. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this tutorial will provide you with a solid foundation in using JavaScript to create interactive web applications. So first let's create the HTML structure for our to-do list. We will start by creating the basic structure of the page including the head and body elements. Let's set the title as to-do list. Let's also add a heading for our to-do list like this. Next we will add a form to our HTML where users can input their tasks. So for that we can create a new form element. Let's first add a label for entering a new task. So enter a new task. We need to add a new input like this. Its type is going to be text. Let's set the ID as task input. Let's also set the name as task input. Finally, let's add a button for our form. When the button will be clicked, then this to do will be added to our existing to do list. So the caption for the button is add task. Also add the for attribute for our label. So we are going to provide the ID of the input for which this label is. So the ID is task input. After creating the form, we will create an empty unordered list in our HTML where we can display the tasks which have been added. So let's add a new unordered list using the UL tag. So the ID of this UL tag is going to be task list. Next, we need to add some basic CSS styles to make our to-do list look a little nicer. You can add your own styles. These are just some styles which I came up with for the sake of this tutorial. So to add these styles, I'm going to add a new file and I'm going to call it as style.css. Now I'm just going to add some predefined style. Let's get back to our index.html file and then let's create a link element with the rel attribute value as stylesheet and href to link with our style.css like this. Now let's move on to the JavaScript code that will make our to-do list functional. First, we will need to get a reference to the form and the task list in our HTML. So for that, first I will add the script element and to get the reference of the form, let's create a new constant. Let's call it form and its value can be set by document query selector and then we can provide the forms tag name like this. Let's also fetch the reference of this task list and for that I am going to name it as task list and for query selector we are going to use the ID of the task list like this. Next we will create a function that will add a new task to the list when the form is submitted. This function will take the value of the task input as an argument and create a new list item for it. So to do that, let's create a new function and this can be called as add task. So the argument for this add task function can be the task that we want to add to the to-do list. So first we are going to create a new list item. So const list item equals to document dot create element the tag name is li. Now let's set the inner HTML of this list item like this. So I'm going to use the template string method. So the inner HTML is first we have to set the input. So input type is going to be the checkbox. So this type is to indicate if the task has been completed or not. After this, we have to display the name of the task and for that we can add the span element 
and inside the span as a child of it we can provide the task and then finally we can add the button to delete this task and the caption of the button can be simply delete when we are done with this then we can simply append this list item to this unordered list with the id task list because we have already fetched the reference of task list we can simply do task list dot append child and then we can provide the list item as an argument now we will add an event listener to the form that will call the add task function when the form is submitted so to do that we will use the forms reference so form dot add event listener and the event name is submit so when the form will be submitted then this function will be called so first we have to call event dot prevent default so as to prevent the page from refreshing next let's fetch the input value inside the form this can be done by calling document dot query selector the id of the input is task input so we can use the id selector over here so let's do that and then let's fetch the value of task so task is going to be the value of this input so input dot value now when we have the task then we can simply call the add task function by providing this task as an argument for this function and then when the task has been added then we can simply set the value of the input as an empty string so that it will become ready to accept new tasks for our to-do list finally we will add some code to delete tasks when the delete button is clicked we will do this by adding an event listener to the task list that will listen for clicks on the delete buttons but first let's see how the page looks like after all this html and javascript code so i'm just going to use the live server extension to open this page in the web browser so this is how the form currently looks like so we can add to do items to it and then we can click on this button and then the to do item will be added but it is not currently adding let's see what the issue is it says assignment to constant variable so what i have done is i have assigned this html to this list item constant we don't have to do that we have to set the list item dot in our html with this value now let's save it and check again to do item one at task now the task is getting added to do item two at task okay now it's working but we also have to add the functionality to delete this to do item whenever any of these delete buttons will be clicked so let's do that for the delete buttons functionality we have to add an event listener to the task list which is our unordered list the event will be clicked and the function that will be called is going to be this one with the event argument so first we will check if event dot target dot tag name is button it will simply tell us if the delete button is indeed clicked if that's the case then we can simply get the reference of the list item so const list item equals to event dot target dot parent element so this button it is the child of this list item let me just show you by inspecting it this is the button and let me zoom in a little bit this is the delete button and its immediate parent is this list item so we have to fetch the reference of this list item so that we can remove it from this task list when this delete button is clicked so that's how we can fetch its reference by getting the reference of the button's parent element and when we have this reference then we can simply call task list dot remove child and then providing this list item as an argument and that's pretty much it now let's see if our delete buttons code is working or not let's add some to do's to do item one to do item two 
yep it is getting deleted we can also check it when we will check it it will simply indicate that the to do item has been finished and that's it with just a few lines of code we have created a functional to do list using javascript now that you have learned how to create a simple to do list with javascript why not try building something else there are endless possibilities when it comes to using javascript to create interactive web applications so get creative and see what you can build thank you for watching this tutorial on creating a simple to do list i hope you found it helpful and that you are feeling more confident in your ability to use javascript if you have any questions or feedback then please leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on web development and programming i will see you in the next one